Hello world, my name is Matt Spa, and I just can't seem to make any new videos. I write scripts, and I think, nobody wants to watch that. And then I watch all the other cool looking videos that everybody makes, and I think, well, my videos don't look that cool, and it's just gotten me into this cycle, and I, I can't stand it, but nobody wants to listen to a whiny YouTuber, so I've decided that the way to get out of this cycle is just to make a video, and so that's what I'm gonna do today. I've got lights and cameras, and uh, doggone it, we're gonna make a video. I recently had to buy some material that I use to make these negative fill panels. And I thought, you know, there might be some people out there who want to make negative fill panels just like me. And so today we're going to make those negative fill panels and they're going to be cheap and they're going to work great and they're going to be easy to transport and they're going to be DIY, but they're going to be DIY at like a professional looking level so that you can use this on a set with clients and not look like a total cheapo goof. If this is the first video of mine that you've ever seen, I'm glad you're seeing it. And I hope you'll camp out and watch many more of my videos over and over and over again. I try to stay in like the photo, video, audio space, but I also post some of my professional and personal work. So the channel content is a mixed bag, which the algorithm hates, by the way. So any likes or comments or subscriptions are greatly appreciated. Positive fill is a term that refers to adding light into shadow areas, just brightening them up. In this shot, my main light is on my left, and on my right, I've got a white piece of foam board that's reflecting that light back into the shadows on that side, creating positive fill. If I swap the white foam board for one of my fancy panels, I get negative fill that's absorbing light and blocking any other light that might be reaching that side of the frame, making the shadows darker. Typically to block light uh, or cover windows, we use this fabric called duvetine. And it's like velvet, it's kind of velvety, but it's a real close cropped velvet. And that helps it to absorb light. It's awesome and it's not terribly expensive, but it can be a bit of a pain to work with. Tape doesn't always like to stick to it, especially like cheap gaff tape, it just doesn't work. So sticking it up on windows uh, is kind of fiddly, it just it doesn't always work. You can cut it to size, but if you do that on set, it tends to get frayed on the edges. And in my experience, it is a magnet for lint. I always have some on my jobs, but I would say that probably 80% of the time when I need to block light, I use these. And there are these lightweight moving blankets from Harbor Freight. They are 40 inches wide and 72 inches tall, and they run around five bucks a piece. They're black on one side and they're gray on the other. And they have sewn edges and quilting on the face of them so they don't just look like loose fabric. They can be draped over an extension arm on a C-stand or they can be put up with spring clamps. I have a grommet kit that also came from Harbor Freight. So I go the extra mile on mine and I put a row of grommets across the short side. And with those grommets and a handful of shower curtain hooks, you know, that are kind of open on the top, I can hang these pretty much anywhere on an extension arm or a conduit, or I can hook them over an existing curtain rod, or even hang them on something like a clothesline setup that's done with rope or wire if it's tight enough. What I love about these is the size and the weight, and they do a really good job of blocking light. They're not as good at absorbing light as Duvetine, but they're really close. And at 40 inches wide, they're manageable. I've got these big 80 by 80 inch uh, sound blankets. And those are awesome. They're white on one side, they're black on the other. I made a video about them. I will link it up here. But they're heavy. And so they tend to live in the studio. These are much lighter weight. Uh, and they do still provide some sound dampening. Uh, if you want to stop sound bouncing off a wood floor, they're great. But you can get six of these for around 30 bucks which will give you, what is the math on that? So 72 inches is uh, six feet, and then 40, four times six is 24, is 240, 12 inches. So that's uh, what, six feet by 20 feet long of negative fill for around 30 bucks that fits easily in the passenger seat floorboard of my truck. And that's, that's pretty cool. So if your budget is really tight or you're just looking for a more flexible solution to blocking light, I found that these work really well for me. And um, they're also great for cushioning your gear on the way to a job since that's what they're actually made for. 
I hope that this has been helpful to someone out there. We'll give you some new ideas about how to do stuff, and I really hope that it's going to bust me out of this vicious cycle of analysis paralysis that I find myself in. If this video actually gets any kind of traction, I have a number of DIY things that have over time evolved to the point that I feel like I can use them on set without looking like a goof. So if that's if anybody likes this, I'll, I'll do that. And there's probably several other things too. But anyway, I'm rambling on now. Uh, so I'm just gonna call this one done and I'm gonna thank everyone so much for watching.